Hello and welcome to our video on immunological memory. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of how immune system can remember past infections and respond more effectively to future encounters with the same pathogen. Let's start with some basic biology. The immune system is a complex network of cells, tissues and organs that work together to protect our body from foreign invaders such as bacteria, viruses and parasites. When an invader enters in our body, the immune system mounts a defense called an immune response to eliminate the threat. B cell produce antibodies which are proteins that can recognize and bind to specific antigens on the surface of the pathogen. T cells on the other hand can directly kill infected cells or help activate other immune cells. Once the pathogen is eliminated, most of the B cells and the T cells die off. However, a small amount of them persist as memory cells. These memory cells can quickly recognize and respond to the same pathogen if it enters the body again. This is how our immune system can remember past infections and respond more effectively to future encounters with the same pathogen. Let's take a closer look at how memory cells work. Memory cells have a different phenotype and behavior than knife cells. And what are knife cells? Knife cells are B cells and T cells that have not yet encountered the pathogen. For example, memory B cells have a high affinity for the antigen, meaning they can bind to it more tightly and produce more antibodies. Memory B cells, on the other hand, can rapidly proliferate and differentiate into effector cells which can kill infected cells or activate other immune cells. In addition, memory cells can persist for years and even decades in our body, providing long-term protection against the same pathogen. This is why vaccines which contain weakened or killed pathogen or the parts of them can provide immunity to infectious diseases. When we receive a vaccine, our immune system is exposed to the pathogen or parts of it without causing a certain type of a disease. This triggers an immune response and the production of memory cells, which can provide protection against future infections with the same pathogen. There are two types of immunological memory, humoral and cellular. Humoral immunity is mediated by memory B cells and antibodies, while cellular memory is mediated by memory T cells. Both types of memory work together to produce effective protection against pathogen. In conclusion, immunological memory is a fascinating aspect of the immune system that allows our body to remember past infections and respond more effectively to future encounters with the same pathogen. Thank you for watching our video. If you found it informative and helpful, then we would appreciate if you can share it with others and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for the support.